three foot all the way to 12 foot long, and they love to eat your little small dogs, your little small cats. They love your swimming pools in the summertime, and they love you too if you get close enough. One thing about alligators, they don't like to eat us, guys. We're too salty. They can't digest us. But we as human beings, we made the mistake and we feed them. And once you feed an alligator, he's no longer scared of you. He think of you as a food source. But for what I heard, 60 to 70 percent of the time, if you're standing up tall, he won't attack you because he think of you as a giant. But if you're kneeling down or bending down, he will attack you because he think of you as a small prey. Also here in Miami and in the state of Florida, we have the luxury of having alligators and crocodiles. Now guys, if you see a crocodile, that's a different story. You run, because he is aggressive and he will attack you. To your right hand side, you see a nice little water park, newly built three years ago. Great family event, great for the kids on holidays and weekends. Now right here to your right, you see a large golf course. This golf course take up a whole city block. Please take a good look at it, because if you come back here next year, you won't see this golf course anymore. A guy named David Beckham, the soccer star, bought this golf course, and he's going to put a soccer stadium right here where you see this golf course at. So when you come back, you see a golf course, you see a soccer stadium there. Now guys, when you come to Miami or the state of Florida, you think of palm trees. Sorry, these palm trees do not grow here in Florida. They're imported from other countries, and what they do here in Miami-Dade County, besides fixing the roads, they pay between five and twenty thousand dollars per tree. Jesus. That's what they do with our tax money here. They didn't ask me because I'd rather do something better with my tax money than buy a tree. But <laughs> it's the government and it's the state, and they do what they want and they take what they want. And there's nothing you can do about it. Beige condos. Those condos sit on a private island called Palm Island. Those condos start at $5 million and go all the way up to $20 million. To your left hand side, you see a nice stadium right here to your left. Round, white shaped building, that's American Airlines Arena, home of the Miami Heat, our basketball team. And right here to the left where you see these vines hanging down this building, that's our newly built Museum of Science, built about four years ago. And this little rail going across the street, that's our Metro Mover. If you guys ever come back to Miami, you go right downtown Miami and you can test that little Metro Mover for free and it'll take you around downtown Miami. Now to your right hand side, you see some beige art shaped buildings. Those are our performing art center for our opera and all our shows. Now to your left and right, you see some high rises. To the left of you, those high rises go about five miles. To the right of you, they go 24 miles all the way to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Now back in 2009, guys, we had a recession in the world. Most of these high rises you see and the ones you don't see was only 40 to 50% full for the last 13 years. Now our economy got a lot better. Most of them are full to capacity. Starting at the 13th floor down on most of them is parking garage. Starting at the 14th floor, they start at $500,000 and every floor go up till you get to the penthouse, which is probably between five and $10 million. But what they didn't tell you, if you bought one of these condos in the last year, last year we had a hurricane, Hurricane Irma. And right down these streets where you see these high rises, all the way to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, we had 10 foot of water down those streets. So be careful what you invest your money in. Now to your left hand side, if we was going back the other way, in about four miles it'll take us to Miami Beach, or some of you guys know it as South Beach. But well, right next to South Beach, there's an island called Fisher Island. Forbes voted Fisher Island one of the top five richest islands in the world. Stars like Oprah Winfrey, Shaquille O'Neal, Gloria Estevan, and a lot of other stars stay on that island or stayed on that island. Houses on that island start at $50 million and go all the way up to $278 million. The guy that owned the house for $278 million, guys, is the guy that invented Viagra. So just in case you have invention, let me know. I'm willing to invest. Now, the only way to get to Fisher Island is by a ferry boat. Put your car on the ferry boat, get over to the island. You park your car because they don't want you driving on the island. Everybody get their own personal golf cart to drive around. But how you really get there, you had to know somebody live on the island, and they got to invite you. And I've only been invited once, and that was for work. But I can tell you how the rich people live. There's a guy over there so rich, he put air conditioning in his backyard. That's when you have too much money and don't know what to do with it. To your right hand side, 
You see a beige building, take a good look at it. But that building is the only building in Miami-Dade County where you can stay for free, get three meals a day. You know jail. when you're checking in, but you don't know when you're checking out. That's the Dade County Jail. Now to your left-hand side, guys, you see a nice stadium. That stadium is called Marlins Park, home of our sorry Florida Marlins, our baseball team. <laughs> Our Marlins have not always been sorry, guys. Back in 2003, they won the World Series, but after that, our not-so-bright owner broke up the team, and we've been sorry since 2003. Now, that stadium was built for $80 million, and it's probably one of seven retractable baseball stadiums in the world. Now, for you sports fans, it was another stadium there before that one called the Orange Bowl, home of the University of Miami and the 72 Dolphins when they went 17-0. But sorry guys, I'm not a Dolphin fan, and I hold my hand low today to say I'm a Cowboy fan. But before I hear any oohs or boos about my Cowboys, it's a long walk to Miami International Airport, <laughs> but I am sensitive about my Cowboys. Now guys, as we keep going around, we have a big problem here in Miami-Dade County. We have a python problem. The python are eating the alligators out in the Everglades. Last year we had an 18 foot python ate a 13 foot alligator. Now we have a season where you can kill five pythons per season and three alligators per season. Last count of pythons in Miami-Dade County in the Everglades, 250,000. Last count of alligators in the state of Florida, 1.5 million. And they did that study about four years ago, so you add a couple thousand on to whatever number I just gave you. And now, you guys just got off the Norwegian breakaway, and every week, the, get the Norwegian getaway used to come in on Sunday until the breakaway took its place. About seven months ago, a guy jumped off of the Norwegian getaway. No guys, he didn't die. He traded water out in the middle of the ocean for 22 hours. Now what's interesting, a passing carnival ship passed by 22 hours later and picked him up and bought him to port. That's what saved his life. Guys, the moral of the story is, if it's not your time to go, it's not your time to go. If you can sit in the ocean for 22 hours and make it, you are truly blessed. Guys, one more thing and I'll let you go. The population in Miami-Dade County in 2015 was 1.5 million people. Today, 3 million people live in Miami-Dade County. Now guys, if anybody think about moving to Miami in the next year or two, please buy my house and I will gladly buy yours because I am ready to move. But if you live in Canada, the Midwest, Chicago, Detroit, New York, I don't want to buy your house because it's too cold. I will stay here in Miami. Guys, I hope my tour enlightened you. I hope it made the trip much shorter and farther. Guys, when you get off this bus today, you have a great day. And adults, I know it's a little early, but when you get on your plane, please have a drink for me, because when I get off work, I will definitely have a drink for you. Have a great day, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Give me a chance to get to luggage.